Welcome to Nesson Sports Today, presented by People's United Bank. I'm your host, Alex Kramer. Bruins just won 4-1. to one. They definitely came to play tonight. Let's start from the defense up. Let's lead off with the first place Red Sox, who made franchise history in Baltimore. Well, it was certainly a wet one in Baltimore yesterday. Early in the first inning, the rain comes in heavy and the tarp comes out. It would be a 41-minute rain delay. They finally got it going. Second inning right here, Mitch Moreland. Uh, does he look a little different to you? Yeah, he shaved off the beard. Looks like a different person. Let's see how he fared without the beard. Mitch Moreland, uh, I'm going to say the new look, it, it paid off. Solo home run to center. That was Moreland's 12th home run on the season. Well, who was sending congrats text to former Patriot Jimmy Garoppolo after every one of his starts as a 49er? And what NBA star could potentially be leaving to play in China? Well, we'll have all of those answers and more for you in just a little bit. But first, we take you to Camden Yards for Red Sox Orioles. Red Sox Orioles, game two of the series, first inning. Yeah, let's start this one off with a bang. J.D. Martinez, solo home run to the right. That is Martinez's 30th home run on the season. One nothing Red Sox. Third inning. Well, unfortunately, the Orioles would immediately respond as Drew Pomeranz gave up a two-run home run to Jonathan Scope to the left. Fifth inning. Red Sox down 2-1. to one. Blake Swihart hits this one, and watch, watch this. It's going to hit off the top of the wall, bounces back in. Well, is it a home run? Yes. The umpire would signal that is a home run. Take a lap, kid. His teammates are loving this. Next batter up, Mookie Betts. He almost gets nailed. He's not happy, he says. You're going to try to hit me? Yeah, watch this. Mookie Betts goes yard to left field. That is back-to-back -back home runs for the Sox, if you're counting, by the way. Now to a former Patriot. In a wide-ranging interview with Bleacher Report, Jimmy Garoppolo talked about his relationship with Tom Brady and addressed the rumors surrounding his departure, including the report claiming that Brady played a role in his trade to San Francisco. Garoppolo said parts of the report were true, other reports weren't true, and he's not sure if other parts were true or not. And Jimmy G was asked in the interview if he thought he was better than Brady. He said, quote, I've always had that mindset. I knew that Brady was better than me in my first day in the NFL. But you have to have that mindset, that you want to be the starter. When I first got there, I thought in my head, I'm better than this. Well, it was the class of 2018's MLB Hall of Fame inductees time to shine. And it was once again another star-studded event in Cooperstown. As six former greats of America's pastime were honored, it was one of the largest classes with one of the largest crowds ever. Here's what you need to know, presented by People's United Bank. The class of 2018 was officially inducted into the hall at Cooperstown today. Vladimir Guerrero, Chippa Jones, Trevor Hoffman, Jack Morris, Alan Trammell, and Jim Tomey all got their moment in the sun to play homage to their brilliant careers. Right now, here's the best from the celebration. Well, it has been a quite the trial by fire for the newest Red Sox, Ian Kinsler who started in his very first game tonight for the Sox less than 24 hours after finding out he was traded from the Angels just Monday night. And Kinsler is more than excited to join the best team in baseball.